Hi, this is Bill for Sparky Channel. Today I'd like to answer two interesting questions from viewers regarding grounding pigtails in electrical wiring. The first question is, how would I handle five ground wires and two ground wire pigtails in an electrical box? That's a lot of ground wires, which must all be connected together, and all those ground wires must be neatly and compactly placed in the box with the two pigtails in place to serve, in this case, one receptacle and one switch. The second question is whether or not grounding pigtails are counted as box fill per the 2020 NEC code. I'll answer the first question first, and then we'll go to the 2020 NEC code to answer the second question. When working on a box, I always start by working on the ground wires, then I work on the neutrals, and then the hot wires. First, I'll arrange the wires so that I'll be able to place the ground wires neatly back into the back of the box without pulling on the neutral and hot wires. Next, I'll use a WAGO 8 conductor push wire connector and I'll push the five ground wires into it. Because these connectors are clear, you can visually confirm that each wire is entirely in the connector. Next, I'll add two grounding pigtails, which will go to the devices. I made them from two pieces of green insulated 12 gauge wire. I'll push the five ground wires into the upper part of the box. This is called dressing the wires. And you need to think ahead before making your first bend. I want my connector to wind up in the bottom of the box. So I make my first bend in the top of the box. I'll push the connector into the bottom of the box. And I'll use a tool that was invented by my friend Warren Tarbell to help push the wires into place. Now, since both of my devices have their ground terminals on the bottom of the device, already my two grounding pigtails in place for easy installation onto the bottom portion of the devices. So you see I've pushed the ground wires up in the upper portion of the box first. And then I bent the wires down so that the connector is in the lower part of the box and then here's your two pigtails that go to your devices. Now, over here, if these green terminals happen to be in the upper portions of the devices, I would have pushed these ground wires into the bottom portion of the box first and then pushed the connector into the upper portion of the box and then the two pigtails will be coming out up here ready to go to the green grounding terminals that happen to be in the upper portions of the devices. If you just had six ground wires to connect together, you could use this gray wire connector, which does have a limit of six 12 gauge wires. Now let's find out if grounding pigtails are included in box fill for the 2020 NEC. Here we are at 2020 NEC. 314.16 B5. And this is called Equipment Grounding Conductor Fill. And right here, you see we have the delta symbol. That means there's been changes to this for 2020. And the changes are shown in the shaded area here. So here we go. Number five, Equipment Grounding Conductor Fill. We're up to four equipment grounding conductors or equipment bonding jumpers enter a box that's critical right there enter a box a single volume allowance in accordance with table 314.16b shall be made based on the largest equipment grounding conductor or equipment bonding jumper entering the box those Two pigtails, those grounding pigtails, do not enter the box. They start in the box. So they're not counted. So there you go. There's the answer to your question. Those pigtails are not counted 
in Equipment Grounding Conductor Fill. I'll put links in my video description for the Wago 8 Conductor Push-In Wire Connector, for the Ideal Extra Large Gray Wire Connector, for the Spiral Bound NEC Codebook, and the NEC Handbook. I'll also put a link for the video that I made that shows all the pertinent NEC code articles about box fill. And I will put in my video description as well a link to my playlist for EMT bending. I have 24 videos on EMT bending and I'll put a link for my playlist for NEC code videos, which there's a lot of those. I don't know how many, but there's a lot of them. So thank you very much, and I hope this video was helpful.